All right, Larry, why don't you go inside and, I don't know, we'll meet you in there. Yeah, okay, sure, Dad. You think I could have some money? What do I look like, a bank? Get out of here. Oh, uh, okay. All right, this is finally it. We get to lose this kid. I am so excited. I don't like that kid at all. He's the worst. I know. It's going to be awesome moving somewhere nice and warm by the beach where he can't bother us anymore. I mean, we're already kind of near the beach, but I'm talking tropical. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to wear one of those big sun hats every moment of my life from here on out. I'm going to feel like a movie star. Good. Let's leave this loser. Come on. It's time. Mom? Dad, hello? Mom? Dad, where'd you go? Hello? Oh my gosh, I wonder if something happened to him. My gosh, I can't believe my parents would just leave me alone like that. I hope that they're okay. Hello? Mom, Dad! Hey, what are you doing in this house? Oh, this is my house. What are you doing in here? This isn't your house anymore, man. What, what are you talking about? I just closed the deal on this place an hour ago and you're trespassing. Whoa, that can't be true. My parents own this house. Oh, yeah, 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 your parents. That's probably who it was then. So wait, we're moving? Yeah, your parents said that they were moving to some other state or something like that. Somewhere by the beach and now they were finally free or whatever. I don't know. All I know is that I got this house. Wait, but my parents abandoned me? This was all on purpose? They didn't take me with them? I don't know. It doesn't look like it, kid. You're still standing here, aren't you? Oh my gosh. Why would they do this? Why would they just leave me here? I don't know. I honestly don't care. Well, can I at least get my stuff? Not a chance, man. Everything I bought in this house is mine. They said everything was included. But please, you're not even going to want that stuff. You're like an adult. You're not going to fit into my clothes. Well, I'll sell them online or something. All I know is you got to get out of here or I'm calling the cops. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I can't believe my parents just left me. And I don't get to take any of my stuff. I'm so poor now. I have nothing. No money, no clothes. I'm just going to be stuck wearing these rags forever. I just want to have a good life. I don't understand this. I don't want to be homeless. Why would my parents do this to me? I mean... I guess they never really cared. Even when I had a home, it never really felt like one because my parents were so mean. Well, I'm on my own now and I can change the way my life's gonna be. I can make it whatever I want it to be, right? I'm just gonna have to find a way to make some money and get some food and then everything else from there will be different. Someday I'm gonna have my own house and my own family and I'll treat them all with love and respect like they deserve, just like I wish I had. so hungry. I haven't eaten in a while. As much as I hate to say it, I might have to start asking people for money. Maybe someone will help me. Uh, ew! Can you get out of my way, please? What? Oh, I I'm sorry. You're disgusting! What are you? Uh, my name's Larry. Ew! What's a Larry? I hate it! Look, I I'm really sorry. I I'm, I'm a person, though. I'm not an it. Whatever, you are a loser. You're a gross homeless person. You're, you're just worthless. Get out of my face. Oh, but sir, please don't be so mean. Hey there. Oh, great, another homeless person. I suggest you get out of here now. But no, I, no, I'll do whatever I want. You're going to have a problem with me. You know what? I don't need this. I'm out of here. Wow, thank you. Really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. It's tough being homeless around here. I've been homeless for a while. Yeah, you can say that again. Hey, well, you look like you're hungry. I got a camp not too far away from here. You want to come and have something to eat? Wow, yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, 
Well, thanks again for helping me. It's been really lonely out here. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. It's really hard being homeless. I know. My parents just abandoned me and left me out here to fend for myself. Like they literally sold the house and just moved away and didn't invite me. Oh, man. Uh, I kind of had the same thing happen to me. I had really mean parents and I ended up having to run away. Things are going to get better, though, man. I really hope so. You really think that they will? Yeah, of course. Can't get much worse than this. Yeah, I guess that's true. I didn't catch your name anyway. Well, my name's Tim. Tim, I'm Larry. It's great to meet you. Yeah, you too. Ah, oh, man, we need to find a way to make some money. We need to get a job or something. Yeah, I don't know. No job's gonna hire us, but, uh, do you have any skills? Well, I know it sounds silly, but I make the best lemonade in the world, and I used to sell it where I lived, and a lot of people bought it. Well, hey, that's awesome. Maybe we can find a way to make some money selling lemonade. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost that much to get started up. All right, then. I say we pull whatever money together we can get, then we start making lemonade. All right, yeah, I'm down. Wow, I can't believe it. We've already made a bunch of money. This is awesome. Yeah, you sure do make the best lemonade I ever had. Oh, thanks, Tim. I knew it was good, but I didn't think people were going to like it this much. I'm so excited. This could be really cool. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, hey, it's going well. Well, I just wanted to tell you that was the best lemonade I've ever had. Wow, really? Yeah, you guys need to keep it up. This stuff is amazing. I've never had anything like it. Just keep it up. I'm going to come back like every day. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, you guys take care. Yeah, you too. Can you believe this? We're off to something big, man. Gosh, I'm so excited to set up for the day. I can't believe that we sold out yesterday. This is incredible. I really think this is what's going to help me and Tim get back on our feet. Hooray right there! Uh, hello, officer. I didn't see no permit for this place. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't know that I needed a permit for a lemonade stand. Well, you can't be here. What? Please, can you just let us stay here? I mean, we don't have much money. This is the only way we have to earn money. We really need this place. And people are expecting us to be here today. Yeah, I don't really care about that. That's the thing. But, but, but why, sir? I'm just trying to make a difference. I'm trying to change my life. Yeah, well, the thing is, is I don't like homeless people. And I don't want you hanging around this neighborhood. Do you understand that? But sir, we're just trying to contribute. All right, let me put this in terms that you'll understand. You either walk away right now or you go to jail. Those are your two options. All right, fine. I'll just leave. Can we take our stuff? What'd I just say? <sighs> fine. And just like that, he just took it all away from us because we were homeless. Well, yeah, that's messed up, man. <sighs> I know. I don't know what to do. Maybe we should just give up. It seems like nobody wants us to succeed. Well, hey, man, that's not a good attitude to have. Well, it's the truth, though. So what if they don't want you to succeed? I mean, we should just try to prove them wrong, right? That lemonade was the best lemonade I ever had. You should own your own store or something. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. How would we even do that, though? They didn't even let us take the rest of the money that was in our jar. Yeah, well, you just gotta convince somebody, that's all. Really? Like who? Well, I don't know. Maybe we go to the bank and get a load. We could put together a business plan. I mean, it's not like we don't have a product to sell. Yeah, you're right, but who's gonna talk to a bunch of homeless people? Well, I don't know, but it's worth a shot, right? Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm not gonna let this defeat me. We gotta find a way to make this happen. All right, let's do it, man. Ah, 
Uh, hi, excuse me, we're supposed to meet someone here? Oh, it's you guys, hey! Oh, hey, you're the customer from the other day. Yeah, I love the lemonade, love the lemonade. What brought you guys in? Well, we, uh, we kinda ended up getting ourselves into a little bit of trouble here, and, uh, we're hoping that somebody from the bank might be able to help us out. Oh, no, what'd you guys do? We didn't do anything. The police shut us down because they hated homeless people. That's the only reason. So now we can't go back there. They stole our lemonade, they stole the stand, and they stole the money. Oh man, that's messed up. That stuff was so good. Like the best I've ever had in my life. Well, I really appreciate it. And uh, I don't know, we're kind of coming here for help. We were hoping that we could maybe get a business loan. Oh, all right, what? So what are you guys thinking? I mean, we can't give a loan just for a lemonade stand. Well, I'm thinking something much bigger. Everybody liked this, right? So maybe we could bring it to like a giant restaurant or something. And we could sell all different types of lemonades. I like what you're thinking. I like what you're thinking. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna help you guys out. Wow, really? Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course I'll help you guys out. No worries at all. Well, thank you so much. I can't believe that I actually live in this house. Well, I can't believe it either. Well, I guess I can because you definitely deserve it. Yeah, but so do you. You have a house just like it. Well, I certainly deserved it too. Oh man, it's amazing. Our lemonade business really took off. We have franchises all over the world now. It's insane. Isn't that crazy? And it all started off with that little lemonade stand that somebody tried to take away from you. I know, and I'm glad that you didn't let me just quit. I know it seemed easier to quit at the time, but we didn't have anything, so we had to give it a chance. It's true. If you want something bad enough, you gotta work for it, right? That's right. And look at you now. Your parents abandoned you and left you out to live in the streets, and now you're living in this million dollar home. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I'm just so excited for what the future has to hold. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. So, Connor, how are you feeling? I'm not feeling too great, but I'm pulling through. Look, this condition is very serious, and I don't want you to do anything, do you understand? You really need to focus on getting better. Okay, but do you know when I'll get better? You're gonna have to live with this condition for your entire life, Connor. It's not gonna be easy. Oh no, was my voice ever gonna be normal? No, unfortunately that's a side effect of your condition. But hey, look, you can talk, right? So that's a positive. You have to focus on the positives in life now, Connor. I know, but I just want to be able to talk like everybody else. Can I at least go home soon? You can, but you have to come back here every week to check in. Okay. Well, thank you for all your help. No problem, Connor. I hope you start to feel better soon. Okay, okay, now it's time to practice some my writing out loud. I think this is a really good poem. Oh, I can't wait to share it with everybody. Okay, here it goes. Well, the sun rises, and I know that- Oh my gosh, oh, your voice is so annoying. Oh, Tony, what, what do you want from me? I don't want anything from you, man. All I want is for you to go away. I can't stand listening to you talk. I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk as normal as I can, but I'm really sick and I can't help it. Oh, man. You're a loser. Oh, stop it. Don't say that. I'm not a loser. I, I want to be a famous writer someday. You're never going to be a good writer or a speaker because no one wants to listen to some weirdo's opinions. I mean, your voice is so bad. Well, but I'm, I'm really trying. Yeah, no one cares, dude. Have fun with your lame hobby. Oh, man. Hey, Connor, I gotta say, your writing has been so good lately. 
Oh, wow, you really think so? Yeah, I really do. It's some of the best I've ever read. Oh, come on, you're just saying that. No, seriously, it's so honest and so good. I really think that you can make a living doing this. Oh, that's really nice because, uh, I don't know, I've been really self-conscious about it lately. People keep making fun of me for being different. Look, differences are the best part of life. It's what makes us all unique. You should never be ashamed for being yourself. Really? Yeah, of course. That's what makes your writing so good. You have a unique perspective that other people don't have. You should embrace it and be proud of it. Oh, wow. I guess you're right. I should. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. All right, well, I got to get going. I'll talk to you in class tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Have a nice night, Connor. Oh, look who it is. Oh, just leave me alone, Tony. Just leave me alone, Tony. Oh, man, do you ever get tired of listening to yourself talk? Just stop it, okay? This is so annoying. Yeah, whatever, man. How's your stupid writing going? I bet terrible, because no one wants to hear it. Well, actually, teacher just said that it was some of the best he's ever read in his life. Yeah, of course he said that. He's trying to make you feel better. He knows that you're sick and you have some weird disease, so... He doesn't really think that, man. Oh, you take that back. It's not true. Of course it's true. What do you think the odds are that you're actually going to be some sort of impactful writer? No one cares, man. Oh, just leave me alone. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so tired of this. I just want to feel normal. I don't want my voice to sound like this anymore. I don't want to be picked on. Oh, maybe everyone's right. Maybe I won't be a famous writer because no one wants to hear from me. They just think I'm a weirdo, but I want to be a writer more than anything. I feel like I have more to offer to the world, but no one's listening to me. But you know what? I'm not going to listen to them. I'm not going to let them stop me. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? It doesn't work out, and I'm right where I am right now. But I think I can accomplish anything if I just try. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a famous writer. Hey, Connor, how's it going? Uh, it's going okay. I'm, I'm not feeling that well today. Oh, I'm sorry, Connor. I know it's tough, but it's something that you're going to have to live with. I know. I know. I've accepted it by now. I just want to make sure I can work on my art. Well, Connor, I'm glad that you're working on art, but you just have to make sure that you don't push yourself too much. You don't want to make your sickness worse. Yeah, I know. I, I just really want to make a difference in this world, and I feel like I have a lot to say. Well, that might be true, Connor, but you just have to make sure that you do it all with balance. I just don't want to see you get any sicker, okay? All right, doctor. I promise I'll make sure I take care of myself, too. Good. That's all I'm asking. All right, thanks. Well, I guess I'll see you next week, then. All right, sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Connor, I've got some really good news. Oh, really? What is it? Well, you've been accepted to submit some of your writing to a major publication. This could be huge. No way, I can't believe it. I know, it's so exciting. I really think that you can make it as a writer. You have an amazing vision. Oh, thank you so much, but I don't know if that's true. You should never doubt yourself, Connor. I'm telling you, you're so talented. You're going to go really far. Wow, thank you so much. I really, really hope so. No problem. You just got to stay focused. And when people try to bring you down, just don't listen. You have to believe in yourself. Okay, I will. I promise. Yeah, hi, this is Connor. Wait, you love my work and you want to publish it? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! A TV interview? Uh, I don't know, do you think people want to hear my voice? Wow, they really will? 
I can't believe this. I'm going to be published and I'm going to be on TV. Oh, my dreams are starting to come true. I'm so glad that I stuck with the plan. I think it's really going to finally pay off. So, Connor, I just have to ask you, what's it like being one of the most important writers of your generation? Oh, I don't know if that's so true, but I'm really grateful for everything. I can't believe that this is happening. I gotta tell you, you are an inspiration. You have such a unique perspective because everything that you've gone through, it's unbelievable. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, and you know, I, I've been really self-conscious about how my voice sounds, so I've tried to use the written word to express myself. Well, everyone loves hearing you speak. You're an amazing person, Connor. Wow, thank you so much. Do you have any advice you want to give other people? Someone out there that might be in a similar situation or trying to accomplish something as large as you? Well, I just want to say, no matter what, you should always follow your dreams and your passion. There'll be people that'll tell you you can't accomplish things, but if you believe it and you put in the effort, anything you want in life can be yours. Wow, that is truly inspiring. Well, thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to reading more of your work. Connor. Oh, Tony, what do you want? Look, man, I read your book, and I gotta say, it was the best thing I've ever read. And I'm really sorry about the way that I treated you. It was so messed up. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. You need to learn not to judge people and treat everybody fairly. I know, I'm really sorry. I have a lot of insecurities, and I take them out on other people. It doesn't make it right. I just, I feel bad, okay? I, I didn't realize how much pain you were in until I read the book. I just didn't get what you were going through. Uh, it's okay. I'm glad you learned your lesson, and uh, I hope that maybe someday we could be friends. Yeah, I would really like that. Andrew and Alexander were loved very much by their dad, but he married this mean woman named Clarice, and unfortunately, their dad was gone. So they were stuck with Clarice. She made it clear that they weren't wanted. She and their stepson, Stefan, hated the twins. They never allowed them to play with other kids or go to school. According to Clarice and everyone she talked to, Stefan was the smartest, strongest, and most handsome of her children. In fact, most people didn't even know about Andrew and Alexander, and Clarice planned to keep it that way. She wanted to keep them poor forever. Stefan, honey, it's time to eat some breakfast before school. Oh, thanks, Mom. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm so hungry. Now eat up, because Mommy's little boy needs all the fuel for his best learning. I don't want to go to school. How come the twins don't have to go? Oh, gosh, they're so annoying. I hate them. Well, that's exactly why. The twins are worthless, and you're not. You're the perfect son. They always ruin everything. I can't believe we have to live with them. They're so stupid. I hate them. I know. They are the worst. They're just so smelly and lazy. They do nothing. Absolutely nothing. They are a waste. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to go to school. Man, I'm so jealous. Don't be jealous, my little boy. Only good kids get to go to school, and you're the best one in the whole world. So that's why. Think of it as a treat. Fine, but stop talking to me like I'm a little kid. It's annoying. Oh, come on, Stefan. That's no way to love your mother. All right, whatever. I gotta go to school. My gosh, Alex, I hate living here. I know, Andrew, it's awful. I just miss Dad. I know, I do too. I wish that he never married this horrible lady. I wish so too. 
All I want to do is go to school. I know. We have to ask if we can finally go. I mean, my gosh. We should be, like, almost out of high school by now. This is ridiculous. Luckily, we've been able to work on our phones and stuff and learn that way, but I just want to be a normal kid. Yeah, me too. And I want to grow up so we can be smart and get really good jobs. I know, we can make it on our own without Clarice. Exactly, we don't need her. And she obviously doesn't want us around. <sighs> it's awful, it's just like this big waiting game until she just kicks us out. I wish she would just kick us out now. This is the worst thing in the world. I know, me too, man. Hey, you kids, get down here! Man, there she goes again. I'm so tired of this, man. I don't know why she wants to just keep us up here. And she just thinks that we're like poor losers or something. We're never going to be anything. Well, that's not true. We're going to, okay? We don't have to listen to what she has to say. Well, we kind of do. We're at our house. Yeah, but she doesn't know anything about us. She can't tell us who we're going to be and what we're going to do. At least not when we're older. I said get down here! Come on, let's just go. Hey, Mom, you wanted to see us? Don't you ever call me Mom. Fine, what do you want, Clarice? I want you to clean this up right now. But we didn't even get to have any breakfast. Why should we clean it up? Because I told you to do so, that's why. <sighs> Fine, but look, we want to talk to you about something. We want to go to school, just like Stefan. Yeah, come on, please. We need to learn so that we can get good jobs. <laughs> you think you can get a good job? No one will hire two stupid idiots like you. You're a disgrace to the family. You are not going to school. Well, it's not fair. You can't just keep us in this house locked up like this. Yeah, come on, please. We just want the same opportunity that Stefan has. Well, too bad. You're not getting it, and I don't care. <sighs> My gosh, you're the worst. Can we at least have some breakfast? You think you're worthy of a breakfast? No way! You get nothing, because you are nothing. But if you're so hungry, why don't you go outside and eat some grass? <sighs> Whatever, this is ridiculous. Ugh, you know what? You two just give me the worst headache. I am out of here. Oh, I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. I know, it's so unfair how mean Clarice is. I can't stand her. I know, she makes us come out here and try to get our own food off the land while she's in there making steaks and whatever for everyone else. I know, I just miss Dad so much. I do too. He'd be so upset that this happened to us. I know, this isn't what he wanted. He always wanted us to have a good life. I know, and now we have this really tough life. Yeah, but we can't let it bring us down. Well, it's pretty hard because it's constantly bringing me down. I know, but what are we supposed to do? Are we just going to have horrible lives because things are tough right now? I don't know. I really don't want that to happen. If we want to change in our life, we have to make it ourselves. We're smart and we're strong, even though we didn't go to school. We can make it on our own. Yeah, you're right. We can. I mean, we're basically on our own now. You know what? Forget this. Let's just leave. Let's just leave right now. Wow, are you serious? Yeah, let's just go and never come back to this place. It's horrible. They don't want us here anyway. They hate us both. All right, fine. I'm in if you're in. Stupid school, man. I can't believe I have to go here. Oh, and the twins just get to stay at home all day long. I hate them so much. Just wish that they never came into our lives. Now they get to just sit around and do whatever they want while I have to work hard. Oh, I don't want to work hard. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit at home, play video games, and have my mom make me food. But no, I got to go to school and do all this stupid stuff. Oh my gosh. What's that? Oh my gosh, dude. Is that the twins? That's so unfair. My mom just lets them go and play wherever they want and I have to go to school? My gosh, why does she like them better than me? I don't understand. Maybe everyone doesn't like me. Oh man, no. No, that's not true. Everybody likes me more than those losers. Whatever, I have to go to school so I actually can have a future. Oh, man, okay. I feel a little bit better now. Losers. Oh, 
Oh, oh my gosh, we gotta slow down. I'm tired. Yeah, I am too. I'm glad that we just ran, though. Yeah, sort of. Me too. I haven't exercised that much lately, and uh, I'm definitely a little tired. Hey, I think I saw Stefan back there. Yeah, I think I saw him too. Do you think he's gonna tell on us? Do you think he's gonna know? No, I don't think so. I think he's too dumb to realize it was us anyway. Plus, he's so mean, he probably doesn't care what happened to us. Yeah, that's true. Wow, we haven't been to this town since we were kids. Yeah, remember Dad used to take us here? Yeah, I do. Kinda makes me sad. Yeah, I know, me too. But what are we gonna do next? We're down here, we're out of the house, but now what? Well, I don't know, uh, we gotta get jobs, right? Yeah, that's true. Hey, what, look at that place, it's a jib. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe we can work there. I mean, you're strong, and I'm a fast learner. Yeah, we would be perfect there. I wonder if someone will hire us. Well, I don't know, we could go and find out. Yeah, let's do it, that would be sick. Oh, hey, Mom, what's up? Oh, my goodness, Stefan! You're back from school. How was it? It was fine. It was just so boring, you know, but hey, I did it. Boring? Oh, my goodness, no. Learning is not boring at all. What was your favorite thing today? My favorite thing was coming home from school. Oh, uh, well, uh, okay. <laughs> Probably so you can spend time with me. You're a great mother. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, I was wondering, could I have some food? I'm hungry. Oh, yes, of course. Just wait one second. Boys, get down here. Hello? Is anybody listening to me? Get down here now. Oh, those worthless, good-for-nothing boys. I bet they're just falling asleep up there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I saw those fools running around earlier. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, on my way to school. You let them live the best life. They just get to do whatever they want. I want to go and hang out outside instead of go to school, but no, I had to go. Those stupid brats must have ran away. There was no way I just let them go outside like that. Well, I don't know. They were out there, Mom. I saw them. This is ridiculous. I, I can't believe it. I need to go find them quickly before anyone realizes who they are. Hey, what about me? I'm hungry. Hey, sir, uh, do you own this place? Oh, hey, yeah, boys, how's it going? My name's Bart. Cool, I'm Andrew, and this is my brother, Alex. Uh, hey, how's it going? It's really nice to meet you. Oh, wow, boys, you guys have grown up so well. But why are you dressed all in raggedy clothes? I mean, your father did leave you with that giant house and all that money. Wait, what? How do you know us? Oh, I'm your dad's friend, Bart. You don't remember me when you guys were kids? I used to come over for cookouts all the time. No, I don't remember you, but that's awesome that you knew our dad. Yeah, well, now our dad's gone and we live with our bead stepmom. She's awful. Wait a minute, so you boys don't know that you're rich? Yeah, you did say that. I thought you were just joking. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, your dad left everything to you guys in a will. He actually gave me a copy of it, just in case something happened to him and nobody could get it. I thought that you guys had this. What? No! Wait a minute, so that means we're actually rich and we're entitled to all that money? Uh, yeah, 100%. It says right here that you guys get every single thing that he owns. Oh my gosh, that means we're rich! No more Clarice! Wow, this is awesome. Bart, it was great to meet you. Thank you so much. We have to go. All right, well, hey, if you guys want a job, come on back. Yeah, definitely. We'll take you up on that offer, but not right now. Where have you been? We don't have to answer to you anymore, Clarice, because we have this will that our dad left us. Yeah, that's right. You've been holding out on us this entire time so that you could steal his money. Wait, what? What are you talking about? We met our dad's friend, Bart, and he gave us this will. Yeah, you know that it exists. That's why you kept us in the house, so that no one who knew dad would know that we were in there. They all thought we were rich. I, I just can't believe it. Oh, no. That's all you have to say for yourself? You've been stealing our money. Yeah, and you've been treating us terrible, like garbage. But, 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 please. 
Please, boys, uh, d don't kick me out of the house. I'll have nowhere to go. Yo, you didn't care about us, so why should we care about you? You know what? No, no, you're wrong on that one, Alex. We do need to care about her, even though she's a terrible person. What? Why? Why should we care? Because people can change. And yeah, she made some mistakes and she was terrible, but what kind of people would we be if we just threw her out into the streets? Please, boys, just give me a second chance. Uh, I'll be better, I promise. Fine, but there's going to be some new rules. Number one, we don't listen to you anymore. Number two, you stop being mean to everybody. And number three, we're finishing school. Okay, okay, yes, it'll be hard, but that's a fair. Awesome. I can't believe that we're rich, Alex. Yeah, I can't either. This is great. We finally owed the house, and everything can go back to the way that it was. I finally made it to adopt me. I'm so ready to start my new life. It was really hard back home. And after the storm came and destroyed everything, I didn't know what to do or where to go. But I'm finally here, and I can take advantage of the opportunities. I can work hard, and maybe I'll have my own house someday. This is great. Oh no, what do we have here? Oh, hi, my name's Franklin. Ew, no one cares what your name is. You're a disgusting homeless person. Hey, I'm not disgusting. Don't say that. Well, you look pretty disgusting to me. What a loser. I can't believe that you're even in Adopt Me. Nobody here wants you, dude. But come on, man. I I'm just trying to make something of myself. Well, you're never going to make it here. This is only a place for rich people. Don't you get that? You're never going to have anything. That's not true. I'm going to. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing. You better get out of here right now or I'm calling the cops. Fine, I don't need this anyway. Get out of here, homeless. You're smelling up the street. Go. Jeez, fine. Man, I can't believe how mean everybody's been here. I thought Adopt Me was supposed to be a friendly place. Everybody's just being so awful. I can't go anywhere. Might have to just sleep here on the playground or something tonight. I don't know. This is tougher than I thought it was going to be. But I just got to keep my head up high and things are going to get better. Hey, you over there. Oh, hi, officer. What do you think you're doing here on the playground? Well, I was just hanging out. I don't really have anywhere else to go. That's what I thought. I've been getting complaints all over town that there's a homeless person terrorizing the citizens. I'm not terrorizing anybody. I haven't even talked to anyone. The fact that you're even here is just disgusting to me. But please, sir, I I'm a good person. I'm honestly just trying to make my life better. Yeah, well, you could do it somewhere else because no one here cares about you. But sir, please, I don't have anywhere to go. You have to leave this premises right now. But this is public property. I'm allowed to be here. Yeah, you know what? I'm allowed to arrest you for being stupid and ugly. Now get over here. You're under arrest. What? No, please, please. Just give me another chance. Get out of here right now or you're going to jail. Okay, fine. Just leave me alone. What's up, everybody? I'm here to tell you about my friend Grumpus's brand new channel. Grumpus, say hi. Hey there! If you love my channel and Roblox movies, make sure you go into the description after the video and go subscribe to Grumpus's channel. Yeah, be sure to come over and subscribe. All right, cool. Back to the video. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe this. How could people be so mean? I'm just getting arrested for existing. I mean, how is that even a crime? I'm just being myself. Nobody cares about me here. This is even worse than back home, but I can't go back there because there's nothing to go back to. I just really need something to change. Everyone's trying to bring me down. It's not fair. Oh, hey there. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Please just leave me be. Don't don't yell at me. Don't call me ugly. I'm, I'm just trying to exist. I'll leave. Well, I'm not asking you to leave, man. I'm just trying to see if you're okay. Really? 
Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't like to see another person over here crying. What's going on? Things have just been really hard. I'm homeless and I'm new to Adopt Me, and I thought I would come here and have all this opportunity, but people just keep calling the cops on me and chasing me around. Nobody wants a homeless person here. That's ridiculous. I'm really sorry about that. I can't believe that anyone would treat another person that way. I couldn't believe it either. It's really, really bad. Well, look, I don't agree with what anyone says, and I own the coffee shop in town, and I am hiring. Would you like a job? Oh my gosh, yeah, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. You really mean it? Yeah, of course. I don't mind at all. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. You can start tomorrow. We have a new manager. His name's Eunice. He's, uh, uh, well, he's an interesting character, but he's gonna be your manager, and, um, I'll let him know that you're starting. Gosh, I can't believe it. This is just the break I was looking for. Hey, how's it going? I'm Franklin. Today is my first day. Oh, gosh, yeah, I heard about you. You're the smelly homeless guy everybody's been talking about, huh? Uh, I guess maybe I smelt a little bad, just I haven't been able to have a shower because I've been sleeping outside. Oh, yeah, free load of sleeping outside, not paying the rent. I get it. I see you. Um, okay, well, hey, I'm here to work and get started, so enough about my personal life. What, what it was, what's the job going to be? Well, mainly the job starts by you listening to everything I say because I'm the manager here. My name is Jonas. You understand that? Yeah, I'm, I'm very clear on what your name is. You, you've told it to me a bunch of times, and I understand that you're the manager, but what can I do? Well, I would say since you're so stupid and ugly, maybe you should stop by cleaning the toilets. Hey, man, what's going on? Why are you being like this? Being like what? Being like your boss who can tell you whatever he wants all the time? No, I mean, I mean, like, why are you being so mean to me? Oh, jeez. Did I come off as mean to you, friend? Yeah, you did. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, I forgot I'm your therapist. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. This is your job, and I don't care about you or what you have to say. Now go clean the toilets. Wow, I can't believe it. My first week of work. Thanks so much again, Johnny. Yeah, of course. And I hope you enjoy your first paycheck. I put a bonus in there for you. Wow, really? You didn't have to do that. It's only been a week and you're already my best employee. Sales are up by like 30%. I can't believe it. Yeah, well, before I was really good at sales and I was trying to start my own business. But, you know, the storm came and just destroyed everything. So I had to pack up and leave. Well, that's amazing and really good to hear because I've got some business opportunities that I think you should be a part of. No way, really? I know that we just kind of met each other, but I feel like I can trust you. You seem like you really got a good way about you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. What's the deal? Well, I want to open up shops like this everywhere, through all of Adopt Me and the rest of Roblox. I want this to be the biggest coffee chain that's ever existed. Wow, I mean, I think that's really doable. You have a great business model. Well, I need a good partner to do it. What do you say? I mean, yeah, I would love that, but I don't have any money to invest. That's okay. I don't need money. I need the brains. I need somebody who can get in there and get things done, and that's you. All right, well, I'm not afraid of hard work. Good, because at the end of this, you're going to be so rich, it's not even funny. I, I just can't believe this. Thank you so much, Johnny. Hey, don't mention it, Franklin. You've earned it. Uh, nothing. I'm just trying to make the shop better, that's all. Yeah, 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 with you. Always trying to work and show off. Nobody cares about you, stupid homeless man. You better stop it right now, Eunice. I'm tired of you doing this to me. Yeah, well, I'm not tired of it because I'm your boss, so I can do whatever I want, you know what I mean? Well, you're not going to be my boss for very long. What are you talking about? What, are you going to quit? I knew you were a quitter. I can't believe it. I'm not quitting. I'm getting promoted to manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Stop telling these stupid lies. 
I'm not telling you lies. Johnny already told me. He just hasn't told you yet. He's supposed to have a talk with you later today, remember? Yeah, but I thought he was going to give me an award for being the best manager in the world. No, actually, he's going to probably either fire you or demote you, man. I mean, all you do is come around here and start yelling at employees. You don't even do any work. That's not fair, okay? You don't get to tell me this. I'm Eunice. Well, Eunice, go take it up with Johnny. I don't know what to tell you. But once I become manager, things are going to change around here. We're not going to be mean to people, and we're going to all work hard. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. I got to go talk to Johnny right now. Johnny! Johnny! Oh, uh, hi, Eunice. What's going on? I can't believe you would tell all those lies to that stupid homeless guy that works for us. We know that I'm the manager. Look, Eunice, uh, you know, I tried to set a meeting for later today. This isn't really the best place to talk about this stuff. Well, I want to talk about it, okay? Because he is the thing. I deserve to be manager and no one else does. Actually, I think it's the complete opposite, Eunice. I mean, you're always yelling. You're screaming right now, actually. Uh, you don't show up to work on time and when you do you're just mean to everybody and you don't do any work yeah but i don't see what the problem is here i'm eunice yeah well look eunice i think franklin's a better fit you know you can still work there if you want but you're not going to be the manager anymore you can't run things oh my gosh he really got to you didn't he what are you talking about so you don't know about how franklin's been stealing money this entire time no, Franklin would never do something like that. Oh, yeah, he would. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's money missing right now. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, I was waiting to tell you in the meeting later today, but hey, I'll tell you right now, he's stealing from you, man. I can't believe this. I need to go talk to Franklin. Yeah, yeah, go talk to Franklin about it. He's got all the details. I'm sure he's just going to tell you a lie because he's a liar. Well, thanks for the heads up, Eunice. Maybe things won't change. We'll see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Franklin, I need to talk to you. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's going on? Don't you hate Johnny me? Eunice told me everything. Everything about what? You're really gonna do this? You're really gonna steal from me after all I've done for you and then have the audacity to lie to my face about it? Johnny, I have no idea what you're talking about. I never stole anything from anyone. That's not what Eunice said. He said that there's money missing from the drawer and you've been stealing this entire time. No, I haven't been stealing. Yeah, and there's money missing from the safe too. But I didn't take it. I mean, why would I do that? Plus, I don't even have access to the safe. Well, look, somebody does, okay? And there's money missing. Eunice is saying that it's you, and you're the one that needs the money the most. Wow, seriously, Johnny? You're gonna go there? Well, what am I supposed to think? I have an employee claiming that you're a thief, and there's money missing. Did it ever occur to you that it could have been Eunice? Sure, pass the blame on to somebody else, someone who's worked here for years. I've never had any issues before. Well, maybe you never checked. Well, look, I don't have time for this, okay? You're fired unless you can prove to me that you didn't steal the money. Wow, okay, fine. I will prove it to you. I just can't believe that you don't trust me. I can't believe that you'd break my trust like this. Fine, you'll see. I guarantee it was Eunice. And you better say you're sorry when I find out. I'm gonna check the security tapes. Oh, well, I, I guess I should have thought of doing that before. Yeah, well, we'll go see and we'll find out what happened. Well, see, I told you, what happened wasn't my fault. My gosh, Franklin, I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't believe this. I knew it was Eunice. I knew it. Look, Franklin, you, you gotta believe me, okay? I, I, I should not have jumped to conclusions. It was really mean to me, and I was just really, really upset. It's okay, Johnny. I understand. I mean, it makes sense. I just can't believe that Eunice has been stealing from me. I know. He might have been stealing from you for this entire time. Well, Eunice is supposed to be here in just a minute. I called him over. Well, good. I guess we can confront him together. And Franklin, I want you to know you're definitely going to stay the manager. And, you know, I, I really want you to be part of this new business. I'd really like to be a part of that, too. Oh, hey there, guys. Franklin, why aren't you in jail for stealing, my little thief? 
Actually, Eunice, it should be you that's in jail. What? What are you talking about? We checked the security tapes, Eunice. You were the one that stole. You're fired. What? No, you can't fire me. I'm Eunice. Well, I just did. What are you going to do about it? Oh my gosh, Franklin. I can't believe you did this to me. You did this to yourself. You were literally stealing from the company. Okay, whatever. But this is going to be a big mistake. Eunice, get out right now. Fine, fine. I can't believe this. Wow, I can't believe it. I finally have my own mansion. The business really worked out. Johnny really came through for me. We have stores all over Roblox now. This is amazing. Oh, look at you, fancy pants rich boy. Who do you think you are? <sighs> Eunice, what do you want? Oh, I just wanted to come over and see how rich you were now that I was fired as the coffee shop manager. You were fired because you were being a bad person. And I got rich because I worked hard and did the right thing. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's why, you stupid man. Eunice, what are you even talking about? You know what you did was wrong. Why are you even fighting me on it? Because I don't want to lose and I'm Eunice. Okay, Eunice, are, are, you said your piece. Like, just leave me be. Oh yeah, I'll leave you be for now. But this isn't the last time you've seen me around. I tell you that. <laughs>